the first Christians were uh, Jews and they adopted, uh, obviously, uh, the Jewish Bible. They read it in the Greek translation, the Septuagint. Little by little, Greek Christians added new books to the Old Testament. Um, this uh, literature uh, was in part re recepted into the New uh, Testament, but it is thanks to uh, papyri from Egypt that we nowadays have a better understanding of a wider panorama uh, of the early Christian literature. Uh, here, for instance, we have a fragment of the so-called Gospel of Mary. This is part of a wider corpus of so-called apocryphal gospels, in particular of Gnostic literature. In this gospel, Mary, probably Mary Magdalene, uh, has a prominent role. The, dis the disciples of Jesus are frightened after uh, the death of the Savior, but Mary uh, is uh, reassuring them and uh, gives a long speech in which uh, she reveals the uh, inner knowledge that uh, the Savior uh, gave to her. At the end of this long uh, speech, uh, the disciples are marveled and uh, Peter is even upset because uh, he could not believe that uh, the Savior reserved such a inner knowledge uh, to a woman. But it is Levi, another of the disciples, uh, who intervenes and actually invites them all to believe what Mary has just revealed and to go out and preach the gospel of Mary. Papyri, like this fragment bearing traces of the gospel of Mary, have completely changed the way we look at Christianity now.